Hey everyone, it is Crypto Plumber. This video, I'm going to show you how to clean the Bitmain Antminer S9. It's fairly simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video, step by step. Let's walk into the mining room. I'm going to do this ant miner right here. First thing we're going to do is unplug the power. You'll notice that the fan is still spinning for a little while. I'm going to start by disconnecting the Ethernet cable. The fan has now stopped. You can see I got a sizable amount of dirt and dust on there. So it's a good thing we're cleaning that out. I'm going to disconnect sorry, power cables one by one. There's no water this has to be done in, but nonetheless, power cables. Now that it's all disconnected, we'll take the amp mine to the desk and I'll show you how we clean it. cleaning purposes, I'm going to use a handheld air gun hooked up to a compressor. I have the pressure pretty high. That's about a uh, 130-ish PSI. It's plenty. Air is not going to damage it. Okay. We're going to start by disconnecting the cables to the hashing cards. Just gotta push up on that little tab right there. Yeah okay, guys, you can see I'm a plumber. My hands are cut up. It's been a rough two weeks. All the jobs I've been doing, throwing out pipes. It's tough. And I'm also gonna disconnect the fan, the front fan. Okay. Don't worry about the uh, warranty sticker, but we need a Phillips screwdriver. hard doing this with one hand. <laughs> These are our little tiny screws, Phillips screws. Let's just slide this over a little bit right there. fan assembly will be the first to come off, just like that. Let's just drop that screw right there. And you can see inside, there's the hashing cards. Right. These just slide out. Guys, uh, one thing uh, is a word of caution. You may want to touch like a ground, make sure you're not on carpeted floors. You know, static electricity can uh, not be too uh, healthy for this. So here is the hashing card. And you can see I got some dust on them, but not a lot. So let's start with this one. Let's take the air gun. This is going to be a little tricky. Let's see if I could uh, put that right about there.
I'm going to do the fan. Right there. Before the next fashion go. I probably should have did the fan last. it is pretty simple the, the most important thing you want to worry about is uh, static electricity um, you want to make sure you're grounded or you ground yourself before you start handling these very sensitive uh, circuit boards these are the hashing cards you know s9 hash board Same with this fan as well.
All right, now, reassembly. First, let's make sure the inside compartment is clean, which it is. I don't think it really makes much of a, uh, an order or a difference in the order you put them in, but this is the third, second, and first that I took out. So I'm gonna start with the third. Power connection's upright, and you'll see that it slides into the slot on the bottom and on top right there. Again, my apologies for the video. It's, you know, I didn't have anyone here helping me, but I promise you guys that I would post this this weekend been very busy with all the plumbing jobs we've had. A lot of frozen pipes in New York. We've had a uh, a, uh, a cyclone uh, blizzard, or the uh, they call it the cyclone bomb in New York. So there's all those hashing cards. They're all back in there. We're gonna take the fan, and that's gonna go back there on the top like that. So hold on a second, guys. Let's see if I can put this camera right about there. And we'll put the screws back in. When you put them in, they should go in nice and easy. You don't have to. You don't want to strip the uh, the casing that's holding in the screw. Lay this over on its side like that. Let's do the ones on the bottom. Oh, the compressor recharge. That's a good thing. We'll give it one final blast before we uh, put it back in. And we'll do the one on the bottom corner here. Okay. So, there's that. And just to confirm, airflow is going in on this side where the network connection and status lights are, incoming and outgoing. So when you do blow it, you really wanna, if you're gonna blow it without taking it apart, go from this end in. One final uh, spray down. There we go. All right, now let's reconnect all of our cables. They only go in one way, guys, see that? Sorry about that, guys. I got a phone call in the middle of that. It sucks because it interrupted the video. Now I gotta go on quick time and put them two together. All right, they all should snap in there nice and snug. All right, let's not forget about the fan. Let's see if we can get a good picture for that. Okay, just like that. All right. Now let's go put the miner back into operation. All right, bear with the noise, guys. Now 
we'll do the network cable. And finally, the power. All right, guys, take three. I've made this ending video three times. I keep getting phone calls interrupting the video, but uh, all I did was I plugged in the Ethernet cable, I plugged in the power cable, and it takes about five minutes for the startup process or the boot up time to uh, occur. At the end of that five minutes, that green light will flash green, and that's normal. It takes about five minutes. During those five minutes, you will hear both fans, you know, run at high and fast, you know, at the, sorry, you will hear the fans, you know, rev up to full RPM, slow back down, that'll happen several times, but at the end of the process, the uh, green light will flash, and that means you're connected to the pool. Alright, and uh, that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video on cleaning your Pitmade Ant Miner S-Series Miners. It's the same for the 3579. Assembly, I mean, disassembly, cleaning, and reassembly is exactly the same. It does not matter what cables you use to plug into where, but that's it. And you have to do it. I would recommend doing it on a monthly basis, depending on your environment. Um, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Drop me a comment down below what your thoughts are, feedback, questions, etc. And uh, hit that notification bell. You'll get updates on new videos as I post them. And uh, we'll go from there. And if any of you are curious, if you notice this on the floor, that is my GPU miner with four GPU cards. I have one GTX 1080 Ti and three GTX 1070s. It mines Ethereum on Nano Pool, and at the same time, I mine uh, with nice, nice hedge. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the